sport real quick. Maybe you could tell me a little bit, like what, like which it, what what each input does. Like there's our yeah, SDI A and B, independent SDI inputs, SDI out for generator or loop out. Okay. AES in and AES out, nice. including generated AES out. Uh, LTC uh, is a time code input, and external reference in is a essentially a composite input with a waveform viewer. Okay. And then that last that part is actually very important. Oh. The uh, that that people can look at, you know, an analog video signal is valuable. Oh yeah, the the the. The tri-level sync right. and also the blackburst right. uh, reference signal. So we don't, okay. we don't do measurements on it like we would with a full-up analog input. Right. But yeah. you can see it. You know, we have a waveform viewer for it. And okay. That's something not all of our competitors have. Yeah, and um, actually, th specifically, the gentleman I'm showing that was his question, and it's got all the functionality of a 5200 or pretty close to. It has uh, the 5200 is four inputs, and this only has two. Okay. But this uh, replaces those with AES in and out that the 5200 doesn't have. Right. So you have digital audio connections that aren't present in the... That are 5,000 have that the, the 5200 doesn't, right? Right. Yeah, okay. 5,000 actually only had uh, AES in. Oh, no AES out. Right. Right. But, yeah, this will, this will give them a good view of kind of what it looks like. The knob there, you have your Ethernet in, your... Headphones. Headphones. Um, These are handle brackets. Handle brackets. So, so it'll have a handle there, so I don't have to right. be careful as careful. <laughs> uh, DCN. So there's a wall wart, you know, rug wart, laptop right. style power supply. Yeah. USB. And then there's the, a removable battery in the back. Right. So. And that'll be a quarter turn faster yeah. when we're done with it. That'll give them a good idea. Right. We have the uh, you know large buttons, so you can just. Press and hold, and it goes to full screen. Wow, that's right. so cool. Press and hold, and it goes back down to tile, and then you just push it, you know, to toggle through the different the displays. The display is so awesome, too. I mean, the display is, like, unbelievable, especially because you, sure. you can you can still customize these, the, the, the tiles, right? Yes. And these uh, these are actual speaker grills. So there are a couple speakers in here. Okay. So you can get stereo uh, out speakers. It automatically goes to a headphone when you... Plug in the headphones. Does it play MP3s? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alan. That's all I needed, really. Just a quick, quick view of what it looks like.